along with play, sleep is important too. But we don't really take that into account so much as parents. And a lot of children will resist waking up in the morning. Most children do. How important is sleep? They also resist going to sleep. Um, and if you think about it, uh, when we were children, uh, there was sight of lights out time. And uh, it was so much easier to implement, I believe, for that generation of parents because there was less by way of distraction. I mean, Doordarshan's bid you goodbye at 9 o'clock and, <laughs> you know, there's not much happening anyway after that. Yeah. The electronic distractions were simply not there. Um, so in that sense, I think during the working week for children to have that rhythm uh, of a reasonably early time to bed, and therefore uh, naturally adequate sleep and therefore a reasonably early time to rise is extremely important. But very, very difficult to implement in real life because there are shows we want to watch, the news is on. There may be an elder who is wanting to watch something on TV in the house. So I think it's become that much more challenging. That's right. But what is happening when a child sleeps at different stages of life? I think the one thing we do know is that adequate sleep is very protective. Sleep is your brain's time to regroup itself, get its nutrition uh, and in, in a way really get its uh, act in order. Um, and the more you cut it, the more likely at any stage in life, this is not just childhood, uh, if you are sleep deprived or you are depriving yourself of sleep, you are definitely not doing your brain any favors. And in adults and elders, for example, we now know that that's the basis of Alzheimer's disease, that's the basis of diabetes, that's the basis of mental health, a lot of things. Uh, so, in a sense, therefore, uh, uh, you know, adequate sleep is a bit of a no-brainer, mm -hmm. um, but we are kind of culturally no longer designed for it, uh, yeah. you know, in, yeah. in many environments.